Hey guys, how's it going? So, Jeff Adachi has been found dead. Uh, Jeff Adachi was a very outspoken opponent of the Democrat Kamala Harris. It would appear for now that he died of a heart attack. Uh, he was very much against Harris's policies, particularly when she had covered up for a, cr for a crime lab technician. Uh, Debbie Madden, who helped convict many a drug trafficking criminal, but was found to have been scraping cocaine out of lab equipment, presumably to huff it. She was also convicted of domestic abuse in 2008. Oh boy! We always talk about women being the victims of domestic abuse, but we never hear about, about men and children being domestic abuse, which is often by women. And it's often more dangerous because they grab objects and shit and start hitting you with it. But even worse still is the realization that uh, lab technicians and even and even uh, drug detecting uh, canines for the police force. You, know, you don't even have to directly touch the stuff. When you're in uh, the same environment, you're you're sharing air with uh, you know cocaine, and you could accidentally end up breathing it. The thing is, the stuff is so addictive that you could just take the stuff in through osmosis and get an addiction. I w if I were the federal government, I would seriously consider looking into these uh, these lab technicians to see if they are addicted to drugs and see if maybe there's a way we couldn't like get them off drugs and create some new safety procedures to prevent uh, indirect or accidental addiction in the future to avoid this sort of thing. For all we know, her, her domestic abuse charge, whatever it was, was caused by the drugs, for all we know. I mean, there's been all kinds of crazy stories about cocaine will do to somebody, oh boy. But a few of the Departed's colleagues had said this. As one of the few elected public defenders in our country, Jeff always stood up for those who didn't have a voice, have been ignored and overlooked, and who needed a real champion. He was committed not only to the fight for justice in the courtroom, but he was also a relentless adv advocate for criminal justice reform. Jeff led the way on progressive policy reforms, including reducing recidivism, ending cash bail, and standing up for undocumented and unrepresented children. I've never seen a defense lawyer more tenacious or courageous. He made the San Francisco Public Defender's Office one of the premier law firms in the nation. I'm so proud to have had the opportunity to work under his guidance. I'm devastated. I'm sure I'm speaking for many of my colleagues. Now, see, I'm reporting on this as opposed to my normal world news category, on the count of that if this is true, then this makes Kamala Harris look absolutely filthy. That being said, what I care about is the truth, not just to get rid of Kamala. So, the fact that this makes her look bad is why the truth will be so critical. Like, if it's not true that she, like, if he really just died a heart attack and he had nothing and he had, you know, she had nothing to do with his death, then the word about that needs to get out there. It needs to be examined. It needs to be looked into. Good old, good old journalism and due process. You know what I mean? We need more of that in this country, especially nowadays, when the idea of due process is becoming less and less popular thanks to the alt-left and the far-left pushing their, uh, you know, listen-and-believe narrative. If you want my personal opinion, if he did, de did indeed and die of, a, die of a heart attack, I read that article, I researched, I looked into this, I saw no particular reason to believe that the heart attack was in any way induced, which means it, it was most likely simply a, a um, result of his current health. Right. He had a heart attack because his health was poor. He was going to have a heart attack anyway. No one, like, they didn't, like, give him a drug to do it, or they didn't, you know, make it look like a heart attack. There is no reason to believe that. Of course, I'm sure as the investigation proceeds into this, more evidence will be found. Which I'm sure we're hell about, or we'll hear about in the future, or maybe not. You know, like, the fact that Kamala Harris is willing to cover up the whole Debbie Madden thing generally means I'm, I'm very certain that she'll be uh, more than willing to cover up any, th any information regarding Jeff Adachi. 
It's like, you don't even have to worry about whether or not she killed Jeff Adashi. She's already dirty enough that she covered up, that she covered that up. <laughs> you know, covering for Debbie Madden. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's definitely suspicious. Most everything about Kamala Harris is suspicious. But even so, I'm still going to be completely fair. Anyway...